Welcome to lecture number 23 of the course Introduction to Computer and Programming. In this lecture, first of all, we will see an exercise program. We will write a definition of a function. And then we come to the 2D array, two-dimensional array of character, initializing two-dimensional array of character, assigning values, and displaying those values. And then array of pointer to string, we have seen array of pointers when we are in uh, when we are in array chapter. जब हम uh, array of integers देख रहे थे, तब हमने array of pointers भी देखा था. But now we will see array of pointers, and in in this array, each element points to a string. Then we will see what is a garbage value. Then very important topic: dynamic memory allocation and free function. In the previous lecture, we have seen some standard C library string function. Uh, there are a list of these functions. You can find this list in book. But we have seen in detail these four functions that are more frequently used. String length function, strlen, short for string length, that is used to determine the length of the string. String copy function, strcpy, it is used to copy the content of one string into an other string and string cat function string str cat string cat it's it is short for string concatenation that is used to append the content of one string at the end of other string and string compare str cmp this function is used to compare two strings whether they are equal or not and if both strings are equal string compare function returns zero and for any non-zero value it means that the strings are not equal in today's lecture first of all we will see uh, exercise program we will write a program then two-dimensional array of characters we'll see what is a two-dimensional array of character what is the memory mapping of 2d array of characters and then array of pointers to string garbage value dynamic memory allocation in C and free function so first of all uh, let's come to the exercise program so the exercise program the problem statement is write the definition of the following function then call it from the main to check whether it works or not so this is the function count character so it, it, is, it has two parameter and and it returns an integer value so what this function does it will it will find the number of occurrence of the, the second parameter that is a character in a string that is pointed by the first parameter and returns that number so a character kisi particular string mein jiska address aap yahan par pass kar rahe hain as a first parameter kitni martaba aaya hai ye function wo count return karega for example, हमारे पास string है hello, h e w -L, l o, and the, if if the character to find in that string is l, then this function returns two because hello में l दो दफा आया है. Let's let's write the program for this. Okay, let's declare a string. hello world let's declare a character ch is equal to and assign a value to it let's say l so l is string me hello world make it in the fire three times i so our function should return three so count character is not a built-in function you have to write the definition of that function or we, we will we will be writing the definition of that function here so then In the print f person d count is equal to person d comma and then we call the function that is count character and we pass the base address of the string or base address of the character array and the base address is str or you can write 
and str within square bracket 0 this is the address of the 0th index element and this is also the address of 0th index element so both are correct and the variable so what will be passed to the function the value of this variable value of ch variable is l l will be passed and the base address of the string that will be passed to this function count character okay let's write the prototype of the function the function return types is int function name is count character and the first parameter is the address so the first parameter we should mention the definition of count character should be a pointer because it it holds the memory address now what should be the type of the pointer now we know that this is a string so the value stored at that address is character so the type of the pointer here is also character right and then int not int and the second parameter is also the character we have to find this character in the string that is pointed by this pointer and we have to return the number of occurrence so jo value you return karega that will be printed over here in this printf function so let's let's write the definition int count character okay character static p pointer and character let's say variable name is c so c is the variable c is not the character constant okay now first we have to declare a variable that is a counter we initialize it with zero and every time when we find the value of this variable in a string that is pointed by this pointer we will increment this counter right okay so we have to start searching the string from the base address and we move on until we find the null character so the condition in the loop will be while static p is not equal to null and then we have to increment the static p as well and the static p ko increment bhi karna hoga p plus plus and what we have to check in each iteration of the loop so shuru mein static p will point to the first character then the static p is incremented then it points to the next character and we keep on incrementing the pointer p until the value of static p is null character right and in each iteration we will be checking that static p if static p is equal equals to because static p is a character so we can compare it like this jab static p karenge it is a character so you can compare it with any character but in the printf function if you want to print the value of this string if you want to print this whole string you can write p and you can use format specifier percent s i will show you in this program as well let's first write the the definition of count character counter plus plus okay seems like it is perfectly fine and then we have to return counter so the value of the counter will be returned when the while loop exits so p at the beginning when we call the function we are passing the base address so pointer p points to the first element of this string that is h and in the loop it will compare h is not equal to null condition is true so it comes inside it will compare h is equal to l it's not so it increments p and then it again check e is not equal to null condition is true and then in if condition it checks e is equal equals to is or e is equal to l condition is false it won't increment counter again p plus plus now the value of p is l static p is l now static p is l l is not equal to null condition is true it comes inside static p that is l is equals to l condition is true it increments the pointer so this is how it works and aur ye loop kab tak chalta rahega loop us waqt tak chalta rahega jab tak static p null nahi ho jata that means you have traverse the complete string and you have counted how many times you find the value stored in character c and that value is the value you pass from here in the main function okay now let's 
so this program should return value 3 if it if it works fine let's see compile successfully and so the counter is 3 right so now you are able to write such definitions string compare function ki definition bhi likhe and all those functions that are available in the string chapter try to write the definition of all those function and in the exam in the paper my exam is usually uh, the major portion of my exam is usually based on the function definition so you have to write such definitions in the exam as well okay let's let's run it for the space character okay space character in the fire it is it occurs at one time only so let's compile and execute it so it gives one right now let's see the two dimensional array of character it is same as 2d array of integer except that each 1d array in two dimensional array terminates at null character we have seen in the when we are uh, when we when we when we are on a 2d array of integers that we have seen that each 2d array of integers is basically composed of a combination of 1d arrays right one or more than 1d arrays so same is the case here that 2d array of character is basically composed of 1d arrays and each 1d array terminate at null character like this is a 2d array of integer and this is the this is the not exactly the memory representation of that array so it has uh, 0 1 2 so 3 rows and 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 6 column so 3 rows and 6 column let's see this is the array of character this is again 3 rows and 6 columns so the first string is hello terminated by the null character second string is world again terminated by the null character and the third string is Harry again terminated by the null character so but the difference is also in the uh, memory that is allocated for character and integer array in an integer array each element takes four byte while in character array, array each elements take only one byte of memory but in 2d array each 1d array terminates at null character as as shown in the slide now initializing two dimensional array of character so this is one way of the initializing two dimensional array of character uh, and that is initializing at declare time so you are declaring a two dimensional array that is master list it it contains six rows and 10 columns so six rows in row number one the name Ahmed will be stored row number two Fahad three Nazia four Vakas fifth Ali and six Salman so zeroth index one two three four five that is six rows and same is the he case here with the columns so this is row this is column and this is the memory mapping so columns are 10 so 0 to 9 they are the columns so the first string is Ahmed terminated by the null character second string is Fahar terminated by the null character second last string is Ali terminated by null character and last string is Salman terminated by the null character now you can see this these these bytes they are not used in this program so they are kind of uh, wastage so your bytes is programming waste story because our first string is just Ahmed and we are wasting here one two three four bytes same is the case with the second row we are wasting four byte here four here four here six here and three here right we can avoid this wasting we will see how so this is one way of initializing two dimensional array of character this is another way of initializing two dimensional array of character from the user Our user se value input or two dimensional array mein input kare. now you can see we have a two dimensional array of character whose name is name it contains three rows and ten columns so this is our last let me go to the previous slide this is our last method we have six rows and ten columns so in the next slide we have three rows just we have three rows one two three and ten columns okay so we are we, we are going to enter three names that is at zeroth index on one index and second index of the row 
now you can see this thing this is the base address so when the value of i is 0 enter name will be printed and the name thing you are going to input is a string and that will be stored in this address and name 0 is the address of the first array first one dimensional character array in this two dimensional array ठीक है आपको याद होगा जब हमने इंटीजर टू डायमेंशनल अरे देखी थी तो उसमें हमने देखा था कि इफ वी यूज द नेम ऑफ द टू डी अरे विद ओनली वन पेयर ऑफ स्क्र ब्रैकेट देन दिस इज द एड्रेस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर वन डी अरे इन दैट टू डी अरे सो इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज जीरो इट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द फर्स्ट रो और फर्स्ट अरे इन दैट टू डी अरे एंड वेन द वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज वन इट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द सेकेंड रो and if when the value of i is 2 it is the address of the third array in that 2d array so first array second array and third array ke addresses aa jayenge and in scanner function mein we need addresses so which address pe value store kar dega right and then here we are printing this thing so again printf function ko whenever you are going to display the string or the content of the string you you use the format specifier percent s and then you have to tell the address memory address from where it has to start reading this string and display it on the screen and it will start read from this address and display it on the screen until it finds null character right now this thing that is equals to this you can write and name of i 0 so value of i is 0 0 so 0 0 element ka address hoga that is the address of the first one dimensional array or the first row and then 1 0 is the address of the second row and 2 0 is the address of the third row right so this is the memory that is allocated so zeroth row let's say user the input input when when the input finishes it write the string input by the user and then the null character because यहाँ पर नल कैरेक्टर सी खुद से इंसर्ट करेगा यू नॉट नीड टू इनपुट नल कैरेक्टर व्हेन यू टाइप इन द नेम क्यों खुद से इंसर्ट करेगा बिकॉज एवरी एवरी स्ट्रिंग इन सी टर्मिनेट्स एट नल कैरेक्टर एंड देन इन द सेकंड इट इट इनपुट द नेम अली एंड देन नल कैरेक्टर एंड देन थर्ड नेम इज नाजिया एंड देन नल कैरेक्टर राइट सो नेम ऑफ जीरो इज द एड्रेस ऑफ दिस वन डायमेंशनल अरे नेम ऑफ वन इज द एड्रेस ऑफ दिस सेकेंड uh sorry a second 1d array and name of 2 is the address of this third 1d array in this 2d array but actually memory is allocated like this so it is continuous whether it is two dimensional array this is what we have seen when we are on the uh, 2d array of integers that memory is allocated not allocated in the form of a table but it is allocated in a continuous form so this is the first row right and then this is the second row and then this is the third row so ye continuous form mein yahan pe aake jagah nahi thi isliye i have to write this thing in the next line but this is continuous now you can see one thing over here or you can observe one thing that this is the memory wastage so these these bytes are going waste we are wasting these bytes what is the ideal condition ideal, ideal thing is that अगर हमने अहमद नेम स्टोर करना है वी शुड एलोकेट फाइव बाइट नॉट मोर देन फाइव बाइट बिकॉज नॉट फाइव बाइट सिक्स बाइट ब्रदर बिकॉज फाइव बाइट इज फॉर द नेम अहमद एंड द सिक्स बाइट इज फॉर द नल करेक्टर एंड सेम इज द केस विद अली इफ वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर द स्ट्रिंग अली देन वी शुड एलोकेट ओनली फोर बाइट ऑफ मेमरी एंड सो ऑन बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग डूइंग दिस थिंग ओवर हेयर because whenever you have to declare a two dimensional array you have to specify the size you can say okay it is quite possible that there could be a name whose length is 9 character we have to accommodate that that name also in the name array theek hai so usually aap iski length 20 bytes rakhte hain ke yahan se iska zero se start hoke 19 tak jaye because it is quite possible ke kisi bande ka naam kafi bada ho so we should be able to accommodate that name as well right and kisi bande ka naam chota bhi ho sakta hai like jisra ali hai so we should be able to accommodate that as well so agar array ka size bada hoga ya accommodate to ho jayega but kuch bytes jo hain wo waste ja rahe hain we have to avoid this wastage so this is the waste of the memory memory waste ja rahi hai right let's see the example program uh, 
Example program asks you to type your name. When you do so, it checks your name against a master list to see if the name is present in the list or not. So, a master list pehle se program mein maujood hai. We will see that list in the source code of the program. And then, we type in some name and then that program tells whether the type in name is present in that list or not. Let's go to the program. Okay, this is the master li list containing name 1, Ahmed, Fahad, Nazia, Vakas, Ali and Salman. So, these are name chhe naam exist kar rahe Then we take input from the user in an array your name. So, your name is the array composed of 10 bytes. So, that is the base address of this array. Is array ka base address kya hoga? Your name. Or you can write and your name and within square bracket you can write 0. Then the loop, we have a for loop. Achha, for loop, what are we For loop, we are doing this because we have 6 names. So, we have to check, start checking from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have to check all the 6 names. But if we find the name, for example, if the user input Fahad, we find that name over here, then there is no need to check further. We have to break the loop using the break statement. You remember that break statement that is used to break the loop. That is this statement. Right? So, in the string compare function, we are comparing. Hum compare kar rahe Kisko compare kar rahe So, this is the address of the first 1D array or the first row. And this is the address of the array which you have the input name liya tha, wo store. Hai. We pass it to the string compare function if and it, it value it will be stored in a variable a whose type is integer. Then we check if a is equal to 0. If a is 0, hai, that, that means then this thing and this the value over in your name are equal. For example, the value of i is 0 initially. So and master list 0, 0. That will be this name, Ahmed. Right? So, Ahmed will be compared the, with the content of your name array. When the value of i is 1, then it is and master list 1, 0. So, 1, 0 is the second one dimensional array, that is Fahad. Isi tarah se 2, 0, that will be this third array. Is bhi pas likha hai string and Nazia. And then the fourth one dimensional array, when the value of i is 3. Because 0, this is 0. Row, th this is one row, this is second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row, and we have ten columns. Okay. String compare function ko ab, you have to tell the base address of both the strings, and it will tell you whether they are equal or not. If it returns zero, then this means that they are equal. If it returns any other value, then this means that they are not. Okay, we have a flag over here. We initialize the flag with zero. And if the both strings are equal, then this means that value of A is 0. Then it prints name is present in the master list. Okay, name is in the master list. Mein. And when we have to print the other message, that is, uh, the name is not present in the master list, we have to print it in the loop. So we set the flag 1, that means we find the name, that, that it is present in the list, then we break the loop. So, controls come over here, then it check if the value of the flag is 0. Flag ki value is 0 kab rahegi. Loop pura ka pura execute ho jayega and control if statement ke andar nahi aayega. Is if block ko execute nahi karega. Then, then this means that it is unable to find the name that is entered by the user. In this particular case, mein, yahan par flag ki value 0 hi rahegi. And when it comes outside the loop, then it check the condition if 0 is equal to 0, the condition is true, and display the message sorry name not found in the master list. So, jab bhi isko naam mil jayega master list mein, wo flag ki value 1 kar dega so that this message won't get printed. Right? Let's compile this program and execute it. So, enter your name. Okay, let's say my name is uh, okay, Salman. Name is present in the master list. Okay, perfect. Let's run it again and input the name. 
Najam, sorry, name not found in the master list. So Najam is not present in the master list. So that's why I display the message not found in the master list. Here, let me show you something interesting that C is a case sensitive language. So all the names are in small alphabets. So what if we type the name like A L I? So A is capital. The name is Ali that is present in the list. You have seen it that it is present in the list, but it is with small a. And here we are input in, giving input with capital A. Then it displays the message, sorry, name not found in the master list. Because Ali with capital A is different with Ali with small a. Right? So we can change our function. We can use string compare i. Now string compare i is the function that compares to string. String compare i function, string compare i function is a function that compares two string regardless of the case. So if the first string is capital ABC and the second string is small ABC, it said that the both the strings are equal. Now this function will accommodate this problem. If I input ALI like this, all capital, it display me the message name is present in the master list because now I use the function string compare i. So string compare i function different as string compare function say str cmp say kis tarah se ki string compare string str cmp function is a case sensitive function if the one string is in capital and the like abc and the second string is in small abc then string str cmp function gives non zero value that means it says that they are not equal but string compare i function works differently it compares two strings regardless of the case so if the first string is capital ABC and the second string is small ABC it said that both the strings are equal now array of pointer to string so in the previous in the previous uh, program we have seen that we have allocated 10 bytes for each name because uh, each column uh, is com of each row is composed of 10 byte and whether the name is takes 4 byte or 6 byte or 3 bytes so all the other bytes are, are actually the wastage of memory so we can address this problem using array of pointer to string a pointer variable always contains a memory address that is what we already know and an array of pointer would contain a number of addresses yes we have seen this when we declare array of pointer to integers okay now this is array of pointer to string so what is the size of this array the size is 1 2 3 4 5 6 size of this array name is 6 it contains 6 element and each element is a pointer that means it takes 4 byte in the memory the type of the pointer is character that means each pointer points to the memory location where you have a string where you have characters alphabets array contains base address of the respective names so this array names contains the base address of Ahmed, Fahad, Nazia, Vakas, Ali and Salman these in strings ke base addresses store hain is array mein, names array mein. so this is how you initialize when you declare array of pointer so base address of Ahmed string constant Ahmed is stored in name 0 so name 0 is particular element that is 0th index element of the names array and the address of this string will be stored in this element right now let's see the memory map so this is the array of pointer to string now this is an array of pointer names containing six element one two three four five six how we how we know that it, the size of this array is six because we have a six string one two three four five six they are six string so first the memory will be allocated for Ahmed then and the address of that string so this memory which is position for Ahmed and the null character the base address of this string is let's say 600 that will be stored in the zeroth index element 
ये तमाम मेमोरी जो एलोकेट होगी दैट इज आफ्टर द सक्सेसफुल एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस डिक्लेरेशन एंड इनिशलाइजेशन ऑफ रे ऑफ पॉइंटर टू स्ट्रिंग ये जो ऊपर आपके सामने एक कोड लिखा हुआ है देन मेमरी इज एलोकेटेड फॉर फहद एंड जिस मेमरी पे वो जो एलोकेट होगी जहाँ पे फहद लिखा जाएगा उसका जो बेस एड्रेस होगा दैट विल बी असाइन टू दंथ इंडेक्स दिस मीन्स दैट दिस वंथ इंडेक्स पॉइंट्स टू दिस इज अ पॉइंटर दैट पॉइंट्स टू दिस मेमरी लोकेशन वेर वी हैव अ स्ट्रिंग फहद देन मेमरी इज एलोकेटेड फॉर अ स्ट्रिंग नाजिया and its address will be stored in the second index and vakas its address will be stored in the third index then ali its address will be stored in the fourth index and then salman its address will be stored in the last index fifth index right so this is the memory allocated now you can see that there is no waste of memory jitna us name ka size hai utne hi bytes allocate honge kon karega c c khud se karega बिकॉज आपने यहाँ पे रिस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं किया स्पेसिफाई नहीं किया कि कितना साइज होगा कितने कॉलम्स एलोकेट करने हैं ठीक है जस्ट से दैट दिस इज द अरे ऑफ पॉइंटर टू स्ट्रिंग सो एवरी एवरी पॉइंटर पॉइंट्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग सो अहमद कंटेन्स सिक्स बाइट सो सिक्स बाइट ही हैं दर इज नो एक्स्ट्रा बाइट एलोकेटेड फॉर दैट स्ट्रिंग सिमिलरली अली के लिए फोर बाइट्स एलोकेट हुए हैं सो फोर बाइट्स के अलावा कोई एक्स्ट्रा बाइट नहीं है सो वी अवॉइड द मेमरी वेस्टेज वैन वी यूज अरे ऑफ पॉइंटर टू स्ट्रिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल अरे ऑफ करेक्टर सो एन अदर रीजन टू यूज एन अरे ऑफ पॉइंटर सो द फर्स्ट रीजन इज टू अवॉइड मेमरी वेस्टेज एंड द अदर रीजन टू यूज एन अरे ऑफ पॉइंटर टू स्टोर स्ट्रिंग इज टू ऑप्टेन ग्रेटर ईज इन मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग सो हमारे पास एक टू डायमेंशनल अरे है नेम्स की ठीक है टू डायमेंशनल अरे ऑफ करेक्टर है वेर वी हैव स्टोर नेम and we have array of pointers where we have store name then if we want to manipulate something in the list it will be easier if we have to if we have array of pointers to character instead of two dimensional array of character we will see in, in the example program let's see two programs first uses a two dimensional array of character to store names and second program uses an array of pointers to string now you know both the things we will write the same program using these two approaches and see how it it provide the ease of manipulation in string so the purpose of both the program is very simple we want to exchange the position of the name vakas and ali so this is the original list so vakas is at the third position and ali is at fourth position and we want to swap these values so that ali comes up and vakas comes down so this is what we want so vakas goes at fifth position and ali is ali comes up so vakas goes at fourth fifth position and ali comes at fourth position vakas is previously at the fourth position it comes at the fifth position and ali is previously at fifth position it comes at fourth position this is what we want and we 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 write two programs one with two dimensional array of characters and the second one is that uses an array of pointers to string and we'll see what is the difference this is the first program this is what you already know that we have a two dimensional array of characters so this thing is optional if you remember uh, when we when we are on the chapter on the lecture where we have seen two dimensional array of array of integers two dimensional array of integers i told you that the number of rows is optional but you have to tell the columns that is compulsory right so number of rows will be determined by the number of strings you can write these all these string in a single line or you can write like this as well so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the, there are six rows and 10 columns for the name array okay the original value of so we want to exchange this vakas and ali so the address of this if we want to print a string we have to provide the memory address if we want to print the ordinary variable we just write the name of that variable we won't provide the memory address please remember this point that whenever you want to print using print f function a string you have to provide the memory address so the memory address of this string vakas is and names 30 3 is 0 1 2 3 so that is at third row so 3 0 so vakas will be written over here if i write 3 1 then that is the address of this 
A Q A S. It will write A Q A S. So zero is W, and third is zero one two three. So the third row and zeroth column. The address of this element we write and over here. So it will print Vakas and Ali, and then we will swapping the values. So we have one string's value. The other string we assign carrying character by character. We know the maximum length of the name could be ten. So we have a loop from zero to ten. So zero to i the loop will be that means ten times loop execute will be. So name three of zero. So name three. Name three is this Vakas. And zero is W, so name three zero that is one character that will be assigned to a character variable T, and then name three zero. Kijiga, you name four zero insert kare. Four zero me Ali, our pass A hai, so A will be written over here. Okay, this is a simple swapping. That is, if you have a value of X. Uh, x is 10 and y is 20 and if you want to exchange the value first you do t is equal to x you assign the value of x to some other variable then you are ready to write something in x so you write x is equal to y assigning the value of y to x and then y is equal to t so same is the case here so ab character by character je kar rahe hain then value i i ki value change ho jayegi then it comes to the second element then third then fourth and then fifth and till it It goes till it to the ninth index. ठीक है. Then उसके बाद जब आप name print करेंगे, the new names are. You see they are both the same print F, but here it print Ali and Vakas. So the names are swapped. So this is the logic for exchanging fourth and fifth name. So fourth name is Vakas and fifth name is Ali. So that is the logic for loop. Me, ये पूरा for loop है जो nine times iterate हो रहा है और character by character आप write कर रहे हैं. So first आप character pick करेंगे fourth string का. You uh, you copy it on some other variable and then you pick the first character of the fifth name and then you copy it at the first place of the fourth array. That is first character of the first byte of the fourth name. So that is the first byte of the fourth name where we have a W. So W will be overwritten by the A because previously we have stored stored that value in the variable T, and this process goes on and the two arrays are swapped. Let's go to the program. So this is the program. Here we have a two-dimensional array of characters. Okay, let's say first let me run this program, compile it, and execute it. So original Vakas Ali and new Ali Vakas. So the position is changed. You see, I am printing in this printf function and name three zero and here also and name three zero and and name four zero and and name four zero. Its position here. I have not changed. Here, the same third, the fourth element, the fourth name, will be printed. But now the fourth name is Ali, not Vakas, and the fifth name is. Vakas, not Ali, right? Okay. Let me show you here. If I write one over here, then what it will print? It will print A Q A S because now I am providing the address of a string, third row and oneth column. So third is zero, one, two, three. Third row and oneth column is zero and oneth column. So it start from here and it prints that thing. Let's 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 see it. Okay, now the original string is a q a s because I write one over here. So, मैंने शुरू से लिखना start नहीं किया. So, अब जो भी base address provide करेंगे, जो भी memory address provide करेंगे, printf function start printing from that memory address, and it goes on until it finds the null character, right? So, this is the program using array of two-dimensional array of characters. Now, let's see the same program using array of pointers. Okay, this is an array of pointers containing the same list. Then we have a temporary pointer. Now the original names are. This is the same printf statement, and this is the simple logic. Logic for exchanging fourth and fifth name. And what is the logic? Logic is that because name of three me kya hai? Name of three me address hai. Us memory ka where we have this array vakas. If you remember from the previous slide. एंड नेम ऑफ फोर में क्या है मेमरी एड्रेस है पूरी रे नहीं पड़ी पूरी स्ट्रिंग नहीं पड़ी जस्ट द मेमरी एड्रेस ऑफ द ऑफ द लोकेशन वेयर वी हैव 
a string ali right so what we are doing is we are copying the, this memory address name of 3 ka jo memory address hai we are copying that address in temp and name of 4 ka jo memory address hai we are copying it at memory 3 and temp is again copied to memory 4 so just unke addresses exchange ki hai before going into the program let's go to the slide where i have shown you the array of pointers that is this slide okay we want to exchange this name Vakas and Ali in the list well, what we did is we swap these addresses we write this address 745 in a temporary place first and then we write 789 at this memory location and then at this memory location we write the memory address from the temporary variable now the fourth index contains 745 and the third index contains 789 789 points to this string and 745 points to this string so, when you print it wise print it, then you will print it first Ali and then you will print it later. Let's go to the program. Okay, this is the program. Now, you see, there's, there's no need for the uh, for loop. There's just the one value. Uh, there, there, there are just the two values and you want to swap these two values. Regardless, they are addresses or they are integer values. So, they are addresses. No problem, you, you can have a temporary variable. So just type ka ye value hogi. Type of this value is address. So you need a pointer to store that memory address. Right? That is the thing that you have to remember. If the value here is integer, then you need an integer variable. If the value here is float, then you need a float variable. Now let's let's run this program. Now this is the memory address. So name names jo array hai, uske third index pe kya padha hoga? Uske third address which value hogi, that is a memory address of the memory where we have a string vakas and name of four me the fourth index element hai, us may be memory address hoga where we have a string ali or names of zero may be a memory address hoga and that memory address is of the memory where we have a string ameth right if you remember the slide uh, that I have shown you the memory map of the array of pointers now let's compile and run this program and it also swap these two names now you can see we avoid the for loop the lengthy for loop with the simple three statements swapping statements right so this is very easy if you have a pointer of array uh, if you have an array of pointers to string for the string manipulation instead of if, if you have a two dimensional array of characters now let's see what is a garbage value when a variable is declared it is associated with some memory location that is what we already know so if we declare a variable x a memory will be associated for that variable Now, the garbage value is the value present in this memory location before you will initialize x with some other value. Now, this memory location, pe, you haven't initialized x with any, any integer constant. You haven't write x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 0. Nothing like this. So, that means if you simply write integer x, memory is allocated for the variable x. Perfectly fine. But what is written over that memory location is memory location pe ko value likhi hogi jo ke previous value hogi previously kisi variable ne use kiya hoga previously is memory location kisi program ne use kiya hoga so the values are there so memory jab bhi ek program execute hota hai memory will be allocated for that program and when the program exit memory will be deallocated memory will be taken back from that program that means that that memory is free for the other program to be used so operating system was memory may say for example koi memory ka piece aapke kisi variable ke liye assign kar deta hai 4 bytes ka so that means us 4 byte pe previously koi value likhi hui thi and you don't know that value and that value is actually the garbage value for your program because your program doesn't need that value so that's why it is called a garbage value so if i won't initialize x with any value if I, and I, if i print the value of x then I don't know what is the value of x. It will print some garbage value. That means it prints some integer value that is useless for my program or that is useless for me. Right? And that's why it is called a garbage value. So, the previously 
value that is written at that memory location that is called a garbage value. If you write int x is equal to 10, then if you print x, now you know the value of x will be 10. Okay, in this case, x print karenge, to garbage value print nahi hogi. Now let's come to the limitation. Ab, ye jo garbage value wala concept hai, uh, isko ab zain mein Let's see the limitation of array of pointer to string. A two-dimensional array of characters can be initialized with string at the declare time. We have already seen or from the string input from the scanf function or getters function. We have already seen this as well. That you can two dimensional array of character in the user se bhi input le sakte hai, ya aap declare time or initialize the list of names or initialize the list of strings. Se initialize kar sakte hai, two dimensional array. Ko. But an array of pointer to string can be initialized with string at declare time only. We cannot receive the string from the keyboard using scanf and or getS function. Why can't we do it? Array of pointer is a limitation hai, ke aapke pas, because array of pointer contains the memory addresses, right? Memory addresses of the string and you can initialize those memory addresses at declare time only. It is not possible that you program ko execute the user se value input lein, or wo jo string hogi usko memory mein write kare aur uska address pointer mein store kar de that is not uh, explicit you have to do it so until now we can say an array of pointer to string can be initialized with strings at declare time but we cannot receive the string from keyboard using scanf or get as function why it is so for example if we have this array of pointers so, when we declare it this way, karenge, now we haven't initialized it with any string or any memory addresses. And then in the for loop, we are going to take input value. Okay, perfect. Now, let's come to the garbage value concept. Okay, this is an array of pointers whose type is character containing six elements. So, each element is a four byte because it is a pointer and it, it should point to the memory address where we have characters store right so each of the element contains four byte and what do you think what value will be written over here if you if you haven't initialized these six indexes zeroth index pe aapne kuch nahi likha oneth pe kuch nahi likha second pe kuch nahi likha third pe fourth pe fifth pe koi value assign nahi ki jahan par declare time mein baat kar raha hu here just here and this statement is executed so this memory will be allocated and nothing will be written nothing will be assigned to these indexes so the garbage so yahan par hamare paas kya value hogi garbage value hogi garbage value at the zeroth index garbage value at one index second index third fourth fifth index these all contains the garbage value now we have the for loop and it will First, it, it, the printf will be executed, so the message will be printed, enter name. Now, in the scanf function, you provide that, okay, you input a string and you have to store at address name 0. So, name 0 mein kya padha wa hai? Ek garbage value padhi hui hai. Us garbage value ko thai ga. So, garbage value jo bhi hogi, us address pe jane ki koshish karega. Try to access that address, jo bhi yaha pe garbage value padhi thi and it tries to write that string on that garbage address yahan par ab ek aur baat samajhne ki zarurat hai whenever your program is executed operating system allocates a portion of memory to that program for every process not your program if you execute microsoft word or any other program is executed a memory portion is allocated for that program right and operating system won't allow any program to access the memory that is not allocated for that program so if my program is executing uh, some portion of memory will be is is allocated for my program okay or usi usi allocated portion ke andar tamam variable sab kuch declare honge right 
سو وہ ایلوکیشن اتنی کی جاتی ہے کہ اس میں تمام چیزیں ڈکلیئر ہو جائیں اگر آپ نے ایک پروگرام میں بہت سارے ویریبلز لکھے ہوئے ہیں اس کو تھوڑا بڑا پورشن ایلوکیٹ ہوگا اگر کم ویریبل ڈکلیئر کی ہوئے تو کم پورشن ایلوکیٹ ہوگا دیٹ آپریٹنگ سسٹم اینڈ سی ہیز ٹو ڈسائڈ رائٹ اینڈ یو جسٹ ہیو ٹو ریمبر دیٹ ایچ پروگرام وین اٹ از ایگزیکیوٹیڈ اے میموری ول بی ایلوکیٹڈ فار دیٹ پروگرام اینڈ آپریٹنگ سسٹم وونٹ الاؤ اینی پروگرام ٹو ایکسیس دا میموری دیٹ از ناٹ ایلوکیٹیڈ فار دیٹ پروگرام سو اف آئی ٹرائی ٹو رن دیٹ پروگرام ہیئر اٹ از ایکسیسنگ دا ویلیو ہیئر اٹ از ایکسیسنگ دا میموری دیٹ از موسٹ پرابیبلی لائی آؤٹ سائڈ دا میموری دیٹ از ایلوکیٹیڈ فار دیٹ پرٹیکولر پروگرام سو یہ جو گاربیج ویلی ہوگی اور جہاں پر کمپائلر یہاں پر ونڈوز آپریٹنگ سسٹم جو ہے آپ کے پروگرام کو شٹ ڈاؤن کر دے گا اٹ پرنٹس اٹ گیو سم میسیج اینڈ یور پروگرام ول بی شٹ ڈاؤن وائی بیکاز اٹ از ٹرائنگ ٹو ایکسیس دا میموری دیٹ از ناٹ ایلوکیٹیڈ فار یور پروگرام ٹھیک ہے اور اٹ از ٹرائنگ ٹو ایکسیس دا میموری دیٹ از آؤٹ سائڈ دا میموری دیٹ از ایلوکیٹیڈ فار یور پروگرام سو آپ کے پروگرام کو جو میموری ایلوکیٹ ہوئی ہے اس سے باہر وہ لائک کر رہے ایف یو try to access that memory location in your program that is outside the memory that is allocated for your program then windows will 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 have to shut down that program because that is the security issue here we are doing the same thing so hum yahan par yahan par garbage wali padi hai one index mein bhi garbage hai third mein bhi garbage hai so jab ye zeroth index uthayega so names of zero mein kya hai ye garbage value hai aur wo isko as a address banayega theek hai when it, it جب اس کو ایز اے ایڈریس بنائے گا اینڈ ٹرائز ٹو رائٹ دا ویلیو ایٹ دیٹ میموری ایڈریس دیٹ میموری ایڈریس موسٹ پرابیبلی لائی آؤٹ سائڈ دا میموری دیٹ از ایلوکیٹڈ فار یور پروگرام اینڈ آپریٹنگ سسٹم وونٹ الاؤ یو ٹو ڈو دس سو دیٹ از دا لمیٹیشن آف دا ارے آف پوائنٹرس ٹو اسٹرنگ دیٹ یو کین ناٹ اسٹور اور یو کین ناٹ اسائن دا اسٹرنگ دیٹ از انپٹ فرام دا یوزر بٹ دیر از اے وے ٹو ڈو سو So the above program will give error at runtime. Solution. So solution is to use a dynamic memory allocation. But let's see the concept of the garbage value and the concept of the uh, uh, accessing the memory that is not allocated, uh, that is not from the allocated memory of your program. Let's see the C program for this. I comment out all this portion. Okay, now we declare a variable x and have a printf function enter integer value then scanf function. Now in scanf function, if you remember we have to provide the address address of the variable if, if I write the address of the variable like this and x now I am sure that the memory allocated for this variable will reside inside the memory that is allocated for my program when that program is executed now I'm sure that this is a valid memory address I'm accessing the valid memory address and what if I write I forget to write and over here that is not the compiler error اور یہاں پر مجھے رن ٹائم پر ایرر آئے گا ناؤ ایکس کنٹینز اے گاربیج ویلیو سو ایکس مینز دا ویلیو آف ایکس اینڈ اینڈ ایکس مینز دا ایڈریس آف دا میموری دیٹ از ایسوسیٹیڈ ود ایکس بوتھ آر دا ڈفرینٹ تھنگس ناؤ یو کین ایزیلی انڈرسٹینڈ دس تھنگ ایٹ دس لیول اینڈ سو اف آئی رائٹ ایکس اوور ہیئر ناؤ واٹ دا اسکین ایف فنکشن ول ڈو اٹ ول ٹرائی ٹو ایکسیس دس گاربیج ویلیو ایڈریس اوکے اف If the value of x is not garbage, it's the value 10. Now, this is the address of the very beginning position in the RAM. Memory RAM hi hoti hai na? So, agar yahan pe 10 likhti hai, now the address is 10 and 10 is very uh, starting portion. جو کہ آپریٹنگ سسٹم کے لیے ہوتا ہے اس کو ایکسیس کرنے کی کوشش کرے گا اب یہ پروگرام اور یہاں پر آپریٹنگ سسٹم اسے شٹ ڈاؤن کر دے گا. ٹھیک ہے? Let's compile this program and execute it. Let me change the screen size first so that it will be visible for you guys. Okay, so enter integer value. So until now, 
scanf function won't be executed it's just waiting for the input when the input is completed it tries to write that on that address so let's see you see temp.exe has stopped working windows can check online for the solution so there's a pro problem and you have to close the program. So program, ab iske baad further execute nahi For example, if I have another printf statement, printf, value is equal to person D, jo value input kiya usko mein print kar let's say, if you write x over here. So it won't allow this printf to be executed. Let's see if I put and over here, then what happened? So value is 13. So it prints that value perfectly fine because here it is accessing the address that I know that it is a valid memory address. And what is the valid memory address for this program? The valid memory address for this program when this program is executed is the memory address residing inside the memory that is allocated for this program. Since we know that when the program run, the memory ka part will allocate. Ho jayega, so that program has to access the memory inside that allocated memory. It is not, it is not uh, allowable by the windows to access the memory that is not allocated for that program. Okay? So if I won't write x over here, then it, it try to access the memory whose, whose, whose address is 100. Maybe. Okay? And that is not allowed by the operating system. The value is 14. It gives me an error. I have to close that program. No other option. If I go to check the solution, it will open the Internet Explorer, but it will close your program because your program is trying to access the memory that is not the allocated for that program. Similarly, if we have If we have array of pointers so array of pointers to integer or to characters now each of these element contains the uh, sorry four bytes of memory will be allocated for each of these element and these four bytes we haven't initialized these four bytes over here so these four bytes contains the garbage value and that is happening and that is the limitation of the array of pointers to string that you cannot initialize the array of pointers at runtime. Okay, you declare time to initialize karna hai. If you declare time, it means you have to write something like this. You have to name it here. First name in double quotes and then second name in double quotes and so on. Right? Now let's go back to the slide. So that's why it gives you an error over here because here it is a garbage value. So what is the solution for this? If we want to input string from the user and its memory address to be stored in the array of pointer, then we have to use dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation is basically your program is requesting a memory, a portion of memory to, from the operating system at runtime or during execution time. Okay, execution time will request the operating system to say that I need portion memory. Ka okay? So, if you want that to input strings from the user and its address to be stored in array of pointers, uska address, so pehle memory may write karega string ko, memory pehle request karega ki itni memory mujhe chahiye. Jab operating system utni memory de dega, then us memory ka address, it will store that address in array of pointers. And that is achievable through dynamic memory allocation. And dynamic memory allocation is the process of allocating memory during the execution of the program. And that is also called runtime memory allocation. In C, malloc function. Malloc is short for memory allocation function. So that function is used for the dynamic memory allocation. And this is the prototype of the function. It returns a void pointer. Pointer return karega, that means ek address return karega, but that address has no type. So pointer ke abhi tak humne types padi thi, integer type ka hota hai, character type ka hota hai, float type ka hota hai pointers. But we haven't seen the void pointer. So void pointer means it is a pointer, but it has no type. That means it is the address of the memory location where you can store any type of value. 
आप इंटीजर भी स्टोर कर सकते हैं आप करेक्टर भी स्टोर कर सकते हैं आप फ्लोट भी स्टोर कर सकते हैं वट यू वॉन्ट एंड सॉरी दिस इज अ स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक दिस इज विद सिंगल ए दिस मेलॉक इज विद सिंगल ए मेलॉक इन टीचर एन नाउ मेलॉक फंक्शन एलोकेट्स एन बाइट्स ऑफ मेमरी सो एन इज द नंबर ऑफ बाइट्स यू प्रोवाइड इट एज अ पैरामीटर ऑफ मेमरी एंड रिटर्न दैट मेमरी स्पेस बेस एड्रेस सो अगर हम एन में लिखते हैं हंड्रेड सो इट एलोकेट्स हंड्रेड बाइट्स इन मेमरी एलोकेट किस तरह करेगा ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम से रिक्वेस्ट करेगा ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में हमें एलोकेट करने के बाद सो दैट इज अट इज कॉल्ड अ ग्रेसफुल वे फॉर द फॉर रिक्वेस्टिंग द मेमरी सो द अदर वे इज यू जस्ट एक्सेस एनी मेमरी एड्रेस फ्रॉम योर प्रोग्राम दैट इज नॉट अलाउेबल बाय द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो सो मेलॉक फंक्शन एलोकेट्स एन बाइट्स ऑफ इफ एन इज हंड्रेड इट एलोकेट्स हंड्रेड बाइट्स एंड इट रिटर्न द बेस एड्रेस ऑफ दैट मेमरी लोकेशन नो अब मेलॉक फंक्शन को नहीं पता वर्ट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टोर ऑन दैट मेमरी लोकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट एलोकेट्स ट्वेंटी बाइट्स ऑफ मेमरी यू से दैट ओके एन इज ट्वेंटी यू कॉल मेलॉक फंक्शन विद ट्वेंटी विद सिंगल ए इट इट एलोकेट्स ट्वेंटी बाइट ऑफ मेमरी बट मेलॉक फंक्शन डोंट नो दैट वट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टोर ऑन दैट मेमरी लोकेशन You can store twenty characters. You can store five integers. You can store five floats on that memory location. So malloc function don't know. That's why it return a void pointer. And you have to typecast that pointer. We will we will see how to typecast that pointer. So the reason for the void pointer returned by the malloc function is that malloc function don't know that. कि उसने जो मेमोरी एलोकेट की है उस मेमोरी पे आप किस टाइप की वैल्यू स्टोर करेंगे बिकॉज यू जस्ट मेंशन टू द मेलॉक फंक्शन ओके एलोकेट्स एन बाइट इट एलोकेट्स एन बाइट एंड रिटर्न यू द बेस एड्रेस एंड द टाइप ऑफ दैट एड्रेस इज वाइड स्टेरिक वाइड पॉइंटर सो मेलॉक फंक्शन डोंट नो कि आप उस मेमरी एड्रेस पे क्या स्टोर करेंगे लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल प्रोग्राम सो एग्जाम्पल प्रोग्राम को से देखने से पहले आपको इसका तरीका बता दूँ के प्रोसीजर बता दूं डायग्राम के फॉर्म में कि फर्स्ट वी हैव एन अ बिगर अरे वी टेक इनपुट अ नेम फ्रॉम द यूजर इन दैट अरे वी फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ दैट स्ट्रिंग देन सो फॉर एग्जांपल ये ये जो ये जो अरे आपके पास ये जो एक मेमोरी स्पेस नजर आ रही है दैट इज फॉर एग्जांपल 50 बाइट्स लॉन्ग और यूजर ने जो नेम इनपुट किया है वो टेन बाइट्स का है देन वी फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ दैट स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज इट इज पॉसिबल कि किसी का नाम शायद फिफ्टी लेटर्स का भी हो फिफ्टीज कैरेक्टर का भी हो और आपने इस अरे का साइज थर्टी रखा हुआ है ये जो ये जो एक एक बेस अरे है बड़ी अरे है उसका साइज लेट से थर्टी बाइट्स है और आपने इस एजम्पन से रखा है कि हो सकता है किसी का नाम थर्टी बाइट हो और थर्टी बाइट से बड़ा ना हो सो so, कोई भी नेम अगर एंट्री किया फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूजर ने नेम एंट्री किया एहमद यू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ दैट अरे दैट स्ट्रिंग यूजिंग स्ट्रिंग लेंथ फंक्शन देन यू एलोकेट द मेमरी स्ट्रिंग लेंथ प्लस वन लेंथ प्लस वन आप उतनी मेमरी एलोकेट करेंगे Using malloc function because malloc function को बताएंगे कितने bytes allocate करनी है So string length आपको बताएगा उसमें कितने character हैं Plus वन is for the null character. You allocate the memory like this and then you copy the content of the from the bigger array to the smaller array. So इसमें ये fix आ जाएंगे कोई memory waste नहीं होगा And then you have an array of pointers to string and you assign this memory address. You copy this memory address to the zeroth index element, and then for the second input, आप दोबारा name इसी में input लेंगे bigger array में. Then you find the length of that string. You allocate another memory that whose size is length plus one. जो second string input की हुई थी, उसके length plus one वो size उतनी आप memory reserve करेंगे using malloc function, and then you copy the content from this bigger string to to that string. उस स्ट्रिंग में कॉपी करेंगे एंड देन उसके बाद आप उस जो मेमोरी है उसका एड्रेस असाइन कर देंगे टू द वन इंडेक्स दैट इज द प्रोग्राम सो व्हेन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एग्जीक्यूटेड इट एलोकेट मेमोरी ठीक है सो जीरो टू फाइव इंडेक्सेस हैं तो उसके बाद ये जो नेम एन है ठीक है सो ये जो रे ऑफ पॉइंटर है दैट इज हेयर और नेम एन यू कैन सी दिफ्टी साइज इज फिफ्टी वाई वी मेक इट साइज फिफ्टी बिकॉज Uh, we we assume that maybe 50 characters से बड़ा किसी का नाम ना हो जो maximum name होगा शायद किसी का 50 character का हो या इससे छोटे ही होंगे so this is n actually 
right? Then we, we declare some variable, then the loop, loop, no loop will be executed six times because we have to input six names and each of these names, uh, address of uh, uh, these strings will be stored in the string uh, array of pointers. Then our printf function is enter name. You have to input name. So name input karenge, that will be stored in n. So wo n may store ho jayega, is body array mein. And we store on about then the next thing is you find the length of that string string length functions up in length find key So if the size of this string if you determine the size of n it will give you 50 every time But let's say the first name is Ahmed So the size of so the length of the string n will be a h m a d 5 so string length will return you 5 in the next that is a malloc function you're calling malloc function you're passing 5 plus 1 6 byte you're saying to malloc function okay 6 byte of memory reserve 6 byte of memory so malloc function 6 byte of memory will be it, it reserves 6 byte of memory and then it return a void pointer and here you are converting the type of that pointer from void static to character static and assign that address to pointer p now since i'm allocating the 6 byte in my program and I know as a programmer that what type of value I'm going to store in those six byte so you type conversion many happy who the licking hoagie again my integer store many happy carnier to my school in static me convert cartoonga so six byte I'm any character store carnier so malloc function your wide static return carrega is co op character static me convert carding because the type of the pointer here is character and you know ke aap ne is memory me ke allocate karna now this memory will be allocated ye memory allocate ho jayegi thik hai and then ye memory jo allocate ho jayegi iska address humare paas ek pointer me a jayega then we are copying the content from the n to this p memory hum is se is me content copy karenge content copy can make about because P is a pointer that points to a memory location whose size is 6 TK and then we are copying the content from n to P content copy and then we assign the address so P ke pass kya hoga, address hoga. address kis ka hoga, is memory location ka so that address will be assigned to the zeroth index element right so name of zero so i give it a zero here so name of zero is this element yeah but yes i know they got p not static p static p is a value at address p p is the memory address kiss memory kiss come memory address a joe memory up in malloc function get through allocate key so is going to have a memory address sign ho jayega tk now this points to some memory location next up to pass yeah 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 and then so on the function delta rega is key but i key value one ho jayegi one ho jayegi dubara name input karenge dubara name jaha pa likha jayega overwrite ho jayega so if the previous name is ahmed and the next name is ali ali is smaller name so a l i ke baad wo null character insert kar dega so that that means that string length function will give you three so the memory allocated will be three plus one four or malloc function 4 byte allocate character it will return you void pointer you have to convert the type of that pointer from void static to character static and assign it to the pointer p now p points to this memory location okay for the early and then uske baad aap badi string se aapne is jo memory allocate kiya wahan par content copy kar diya early because p pointer us memory location ko point kar raha hai jis 4 byte allocated hai so 3 byte is for a l i and 4th byte is for null character and then aapne wo pointer ka address jo hai wo name of one mein sign kar diya so yahan par address aa jayega iska and so on uske baad jo next for loop hai usme aap name print kar rahe hain let's let's see that program So it's like a uh, uh, after the like buddy array here was buddy array can drop name lilling because you know you don't know okay user to name input can age are Oscar size was my three letters and you're smith 20 letters or smith 50 letters there so it buddy see a really lady was my name input Lelia then you find the length of that name and length plus one up in memory allocate curdy then you have to copy the content from the bigger array to the smaller array up the content copy curdy us may and a smaller jo memory here jump up in name copy curdy I 
उसका एड्रेस यू विल असाइन दैट एड्रेस टू द जीरो एलिमेंट ऑफ द अरे ऑफ पॉइंटर एंड देन वन सेकेंड जब आप करेंगे नेम इनपुट लेंगे सेकेंड मेमरी एलोकेट करेंगे उसको असाइन कर देंगे वन अरे में ठीक है Now let's ex compile this program and execute it. Enter name Najam Salman Ali. Okay, let me write the bigger name. Okay, input scan F C L A R I A. So it is not possible to write the name that contains spaces. So let me write my name without space. My complete name is Malik Najmus Sakib. Okay, and then. The name is Nazia, and the name is Fahad. You see, it display all those names. So, इसके लिए इसने just four byte allocate किए होंगे. So, there is no wastage of memory in this program. ठीक है. So, now you can use dynamic memory allocation to assign the string to the array of pointers. कि string के addresses array of pointers को आप assign कर सकते हैं. Now free function. It is recommended to free the memory that is allocated at run time. So run time per that is dynamic memory. जब भी allocate करेंगे, you have to use the free function to free that memory. Now in the previous slide, you can see that the at uh, this array of pointer name array of pointer contains one, two, three, four, five, six, six addresses of the memory, and all those memory is allocated. dynamically that is using malloc function so after before exiting from this program we have to free all this memory whose addresses are contained by the array of pointer name in c free function releases the specific block of the memory back to the system ki wo free kar deta hai now uh, back to the system means that now i am not using this memory space and it it says to the operating system now this memory is free and you can assign this memory to any other program so if you don't use free function then this memory will be reserved until your system restart so jab tak your system restart nahi hoga wo memory reserved rahegi operating system bhi even aapka program shut down ho gaya exit ho gaya still that memory will be allocated there and no other program is able to use that memory so prototype of the free function is void free void static so kisi bhi type ka pointer aap isko bata denge pointer mein kya hoga address hoga that is the address of the memory that is allocated using malloc function so in the previous program we have to execute this for loop six times ye for loop chalega so name of 0 name of 1 name of 2 3 4 5 in tamam mein memory addresses hain jo ki memory dynamically allocate ki gayi thi using malloc function तो so, सिक्स टाइम्स लूप चलेगा और तमाम उस मेमोरी को फ्री कर देगा एंड वी हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट दिस लूप एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम बिफोर एग्जिटिंग नो लेट्स सी द मेलॉक फंक्शन फॉर इंटीजर अरे यस वी कैन यूज मेलॉक फंक्शन फॉर इंटीजर अरे एज वेल सो लेट्स सी राइट अ प्रोग्राम दैट आस्क द यूजर टू इनपुट नंबर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स एंड यूजर स्टार्ट एंटरिंग द मार्क्स ऑफ दोज सब्जेक्ट्स आफ्टर दैट द प्रोग्राम डिस्प्ले ऑल द मार्क्स सब so, प्रोग्राम ऐसा लिखना है आपने कि जिसमें यूजर एंटर करेगा कि उसने कितने सब्जेक्ट्स के मार्क्स इनपुट करने हैं सो so, अब कितने मींस इट कुड बी फाइव इट कुड बी वन इट कुड बी हंड्रेड सो हियर यू इट्स द बेटर ऑप्शन इज इफ यू हैव इफ यू वन ऑप्शन इज यू कैन डिक्लेयर एन अरे ऑफ हंड्रेड साइज सो वट इफ द यूजर चूज इज टू एंटर मार्क्स ओनली फाइव सब्जेक्ट्स सो यू आर यूजिंग जस्ट फाइव एलिमेंट्स एंड द अदर नाइन्टी सेवन एलिमेंट्स आर द वेस्ट ऑफ द मेमरी सो हेयर वी कैन यूज अ डायनामिक मेमरी एलोकेशन वी रिजर्व द मेमरी हम उतने सब्जेक्ट्स की मेमरी रिजर्व करेंगे जो यूजर ने इनपुट किया था सो लेट्स राइट दिस प्रोग्राम इन टीचर नंबर इन टीचर स्टेरिक पी पॉइंटर Okay, then enter. Okay, write the print f statement. Print f. Enter number of subjects. Right. And then in scanf function, आप ये number of subjects input ले लें. अब हमने इसके मुताबिक memory allocate करनी है and we have to assign the value at that memory location. Right. 
एंड नम में इनपुट ले लिया इस मेमोरी लोकेशन पे राइट नाउ वी हैव टू एलोकेट मेमोरी कितनी मेमोरी एलोकेट करनी है फॉर नम इंटीजर्स लेट्स इन इट्स एन फॉर एन इंटीजर्स सो अगर यूजर कहता है आई हैव टू इनपुट मार्क्स ऑफ फाइव सब्जेक्ट्स सो यू हैव टू एलोकेट मेमोरी फॉर फाइव इंटीजर्स और फाइव इंटीजर्स के लिए जो मेमोरी एलोकेट होगी हाउ मच बाइट इट विल एलोकेट इट विल एलोकेट फाइव इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी बाइट्स बिकॉज ईच इंटीजर टेक फोर बाइट सो पी इज इक्वल टू वी हैव टू टाइप कास्ट दैट पॉइंटर इन इंटीजर बिकॉज वी नो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर इंटीजर वैल्यू मेलॉक फंक्शन एंड एन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर सो वट एवर इज द एन इफ एन इज वन इट एलोकेट वन इंटू फोर फोर बाइट ओनली नाउ वी हैव फॉर लूप फॉर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई लेस देन एन आई प्लस प्लस नाउ वी डिस्प्ले द मैसेज एंटर मार्क्स फॉर subject person d that is i plus 1 and scan if my marks aapne input le liye now you have to store that marks kis memory location pe store karenge person d is the type of the input and you have to store this marks at p plus i so p is a pointer that points to a block of memory जहाँ पर आपके पास कुछ बाइट्स एलोकेटेड हैं और पी उस ब्लॉक के फॉर एग्जांपल अगर 20 बाइट्स एलोकेट किए हैं लेट्स से यूजर इनपुट किया था फाइव लेट्स से यूजर इनपुट किया था थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स तो आपने 12 बाइट्स एलोकेट कर दिए थ्री इंटू फोर इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व बाइट्स फॉर द थ्री इन टीजर एंड पी पॉइंट टू द फर्स्ट बाइट ऑफ दैट मेमोलिकेशन सो पी प्लस आई जब इस एड्रेस पर स्टोर करेंगे तो ये फर्स्ट एड्रेस पर स्टोर करेगा देन वैल्यू ऑफ आई बिकम्स वन तो P इज लेट से 500 तो प्लस वन जब करेंगे तो 504 हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एड्रेस आ जाएगा फॉर द इंटीजर वैल्यू एंड इन दैट इन द नेक्स्ट फॉर लूप लेट्स प्रिंट दोज वैल्यूज नेक्स्ट फॉर लूप में हम इसकी वैल्यूज प्रिंट कर देते हैं जो हमने इनपुट की थी क्या वैल्यूज वो सही इनपुट हो गई हैं सो मार्क्स is equal to person d or person d mein hum kya likhenge p plus i jo address hai p plus i jo address hai us pe value kaun si padi hai value at address p plus i that will be printed in this for loop and then system pause right so let's declare the variable i as well okay i hope it it works fine स्लैश एन ओके लेट्स कंपाइल इट सो यू मिस सेमी कॉलन ओवर हेयर इट्स कंपाइल इट अगेन परफेक्टली फाइन एंड एग्जीक्यूटेड नाउ एंटर नंबर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक लेट से नंबर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स इज फोर सो फोर इंटू फोर सिक्सटीन बाइट्स विल एलोकेटेड मार्क्स फॉर सब्जेक्ट वन इज लेट से सेवेंटी फाइव मार्क्स फॉर सब्जेक्ट टू इज सब्जेक्ट वन के सिक्सटी सेवेंटी सिक्स मार्क्स हैं सब्जेक्ट टू के फिफ्टी सिक्स हैं सब्जेक्ट थ्री के एटी सेवन हैं सब्जेक्ट फोर के नाइन्टी हैं सो सब्जेक्ट वन के सिक्सटी सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स एटी सेवन नाइन्टी मार्क्स सो यू यू कैन सी यू कैन यूज मेलॉक फंक्शन टू डायनामिकली एलोकेट द मेमरी फॉर द अरे सो दिस इज दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ डायनामिक अरे डायनेमिक अरे मीन्स के बाकी जितनी भी अरेज हमने देखी थी इफ यू राइट द साइज ऑफ द अरे लाइक ए फाइव दैन दिस मीन्स दैट दिस इज द स्टेटिक अरे हु साइज इज नोन एट द कंपाइल टाइम कंपाइल करने से पहले आपको पता है इसके लिए कितने बाइट्स एलोकेट होंगे परफेक्टली फाइन बट यू डोंट नो हाउ मच बाइट विल बी एलोकेटेड एट कंपाइल टाइम ओवर हेयर इन दिस मेलॉक फंक्शन सो दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डायनेमिक और द मेमरी इज एलोकेटेड एट रन टाइम के दैट्स द एंड ऑफ अवर टू डेज लेक्चर Let me summarize our today's lecture. In today's lecture, we have seen the two-dimensional array of character, then initializing two-dimensional array of character, array of pointer to string, garbage value. What is a garbage value? And uh, dynamic memory allocation and the free function.